Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Oh dang it. And, okay, I don't want to trigger their conversation yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be doing at this point. Uh, I think I need to go talk to Engineer Adams. Commander. Um, there is some Citadel stuff that needs doing Commander, after all the hullabaloo. There's a message at your private terminal. I bet there is. Javik, Commander, I find this message system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there in my lifetime. It has been captured by the Reapers. If you'd like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of a galactic control shared among races is a lie. Okay. Did I... Shepard, I have Petrovsky's chessboard sent to the Normandy. It just doesn't just doesn't go with the new decor I have planned for afterlife. Okay, thanks. I don't want it either. From Liara, I need an excuse to tear myself away from these monitors. Come see me next time we dock at the Citadel. Okay, so everybody wants to take a break. Garris, I thought the next time we're at the Citadel, we could take a break. Can't fight aboard that little R&R. &R. I'll be hanging around the C-Sec near the shuttles. Dinner from Kate. I don't know about you, but I could show you a little breather. Next time we're in the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's a little restaurant in the courtyard. I'm going to punch him in the face. Uh, Miranda, I discovered a few things about my sister. Oh, it's time for sanctuary. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet. It's a new nap point when you get there. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Did Omega count as like a um, main mission? <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> it probably did. Uh, it's fine. Cerberus is going to have a hard time recruiting now. Commander. Okay, Edie. Anything? Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Uh, I need to go talk to Engineer Adams because I do have. I'm pretty sure I have the thermal pipe for him. And we Gaps should definitely. Something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. I do love this mission with Garrus. This is one of those ones, again, like I said before, where would not be able to handle things if it wasn't for Garrus keeping me sane. Why? Why? It's funny that I have a chessboard now after, um, freaking. Oh my gosh, I just saw her name after she just beat me up in chess. Just fed my jellyfish. Do we have... Probably not. I was just curious if Nyrene's name would be on here. I think you had to have served on the Normandy for that. Anything. I'm just making sure. Just going through. It would help all involved if you could bash a trade of medical. That's right. The Citadel yeah. Okay. Well, there, there's a, there's a few things. You should be able to find him near the dock. There's a few things I need to do on the Citadel that I think I'm gonna. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Leah. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Hello, Shepard. Hmm. Okay. I do like uh, eavesdropping on people's conversations, though. <laughs> just like Shepard's just running around eavesdropping on pe people. Uh, was he over here? Hi, yo, jeez. Hey, Shepard. Can okay, no talking with you, KK. Um, engineering for sure. I feel bad, Adam. This is all by his lonesome. Commander, we've installed that thermal pipe you got. Yay! It was quite successful. The Normandy will explode long before the core needs to vent into the engineering component. So that's good news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. There she is. That's my ship. Let's see, this lady always has some conversations going on. Dire news from 
of Earth off the radar, reaping begins in rural areas. Millions are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the Reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Why? Now, in the battle space. Like, that's so depressed. And all, I, hate, I hate the way she delivers all of this. Hi, we will give you some very gruesome news. It's horrible. La now on the battle space. I just punch her in the face every time. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish century upon century, letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Uh -huh. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces, and we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You'd think she'd never seen a Prothean before. Is that a joke? Commander. I think that was a joke. Uh, wh wow, there we go. Put it on the put it on the board. Javik did a joke. One. <laughs> One joke for Javik. Garrus has like 80,000 on the board. Who else is he? Oh, uh, what's his name? James? He would I've have way more. I've always loved the M35 Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead? The Hammerhead! <laughs> Come on, that thing's made of tissue. No, yeah, yeah. Pit. I'd prefer Mako. Mako. Take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No Listen, agility whatsoever. It's amazing. Like a bull that can climb and climb yes. for days. See, James gets it. Only it only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jump that's true. Stay. No speed, no lateral movement. That's hey, true. Can it like that? Who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> he doesn't get it. Well, do I do. Schedules one more time. All right, I'm actually gonna change. The armor was nice, but uh, gonna change. <sighs> what do I? What? I, what options? No, don't want that one. We have this health, weapon damage, melee damage. That is nice. <sighs> Shield boost, power damage, power recharge. Oh, I'm torn. Oh, rotate like this. This one, this one makes her look beefier because the mod doesn't really work so well on the um, on the armor. I think um, the beefy mod. But I like I like the helmet better on this one, but I like the armor on this one. You know, I've been thinking a lot about Dragon Age lately. Let's go with the Blood Dragon armor set for now. Shoot this power damage, power recharge, lovely weapon upgrades. Oh, what am I using? I have so many. I don't. I don't know. Who wants what? We'll just. Purchase a few. I have money, monies, many monies. Chakra launcher, sure. Honestly, there's, there's there's just there's too many. I don't keep track. I like. I wish they. I wish in the in the new edition, they had gone out of their way to be like. To like actually improve things. Like, I mean, they did obviously, but if they had improved here, like, oh, show me who's got what equipped, and then I can know which one I need, and I don't have to try to keep track of that myself because it's a pain in the butt. I don't want to. Hey. Hey. Okay. Um, everyone's good. Oh, the Citadel. Also, apparently, the Citadel is where everybody wants me to be, and this is not the Citadel DLC. Yeah, I know, AI trainer. I read my emails. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to use. No, no, okay, yes. The Alliance Docks, yes. 
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, my habit is to go to the hospital, but no one's there. Let's go to the I need to get refugee. to the refugee camp. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Okay. Well, there's somebody here. Oh yeah, he decided he decided to do this. Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. He'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. Pat, Pat. I'm glad you came. Mm. I just need a few moments to myself. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to... Is that freaky? It looks like Chris Evans. Are you dating Chris Evans? Cause, uh, or married to Chris Evans, rather? Um... Are you? Oh my god! Cerberus wants our help. <laughs> oh. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. You have aged, my man. Oh, for the love of Yeah. Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Please Conrad, don't. Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Yeah. Just, I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually Yes! Do that. I was really stressed out. <laughs> they acknowledged it! Because there, there is a pretty big glitch where, like, if you don't put a gun in his face... Like, in Mass Effect 2, he's like, you put a gun in my face! And there's a pretty big glitch that happens a lot of the time where, like, he accuses you of that, even though you didn't do it if you did it all Paragon, and you're like, what the heck? So they <laughs> Oh, uh, did you poison the med? Okay, hang on. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Mm. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. No! Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reapers. Can you help with that? Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy no. integration. No way! Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. No I way! Got, I have an old contact. No, are, are uh, come you? Come on, Hossel, help me out. Sorry, the war has him scared. Hustle? Gavin Hustle, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is. Did I? I had no idea you two knew each other. Small I can't remember. Universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writing help? <gasps> uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay. From Mass Effect 1? Let's see. Oh, no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? I don't have that. Oh, yeah, I do. Here, at least let me send you my dissertation. Maybe it'll help a little. Anyway. Good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. Not touching anything! <laughs> no way! I forgot that it was the metagel sabotage. Dark and So you can be really smart and also be very, very dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Hey there. They always keep their promises. 
Your Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Um, I mean, I guess I'll do the blue, but like, I feel like we could give them more, you know, honestly. Your people need our supplies and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat grade meds will make a difference. And our mission may just save everyone. Now's not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. I mean, we can give you ours first, too, you know? Like, not, not, not worried about that. Do I need to fix the Metagel dispensers? I talked to him, we're good, that's me. Metagel. Why am I going around fixing Metagel dispensers? I am Commander Shepard. <laughs> I've got other things to do. Doctor, oh, what? Was the doctor in the other one? Doctor. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. God, your hands! <laughs> I told you not to move. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for. Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Under arrest? Oh my gosh. What? No way. Oh, that was a brutal sound. Shepard. Shepard. No way Conrad's gonna die. Yeah, Conrad. You helped. The bullet missed, didn't it? I don't even no. feel anything. Yeah, because you didn't get Actually, shot. I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. Yep. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years okay. ago when I was working undercover at Cora's death. I thought I recognized the name. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... You saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life. For oh, Commander please, Denver. no. You're so no. brave. No. Oh, the commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. Oh, my gosh. He's too old for you. And his last wife left him. <laughs> to me, honestly, the way you can sum summarize this is, man, it's a small world. Like what, Jenna and Conrad and whoever that researcher guy was. <laughs> like, oh Conrad, he is just—he's so—he's funny. He's a funny guy. James is usually here playing, but he's not. Okay. Oh my gosh, this stuff. This game. So many little, little things. I think it's great. Uh, what order do I have these in? Oh, see, it was it was sorting them 
not by name for a while, and now it, like I kept clicking by name by name, and now it's starting in my name again, and I'm like, uh, why does it keep changing? Heating unit stabilizer, I don't know if I have that, I'm not too worried about it. Reaper code fragments. Terrium poison. There, I know that there were other things I could do. Right, we did that. Then Korlak as a possible Cerberus informant investigate the embassy. Okay, but we also like I don't want to. I don't really want to start any of the companion stuff right now because we freaking we don't have a ton of time. I don't. None of them take super long, but. But I do want to try to clean up a few of the Citadel things. I don't know, I might need to fly around and clean up some of those other things because I'm like, I don't freaking know, like, I have so many quests. And some of them are just fetch quests and I don't freaking know. Uh, we want to go to the Presidium Commons. Nope, we want to go to the Embassy. Because that's where the Embassy is. Ha 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 ha. I'm waiting for the time when I get to punch that reporter, except actually I'm not going to punch her because I'm a nice person. All right, drop that. No, oh, hang on. Okay, hang on. Did we want to investigate Din Korlak? What I want? I do wonder what he's doing. Right there. You look like somebody that has a quest for me. Nope. Okay, I get to go listen to sad things over here. You could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Want to guess why? God, why? They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah. Your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. How am I supposed to be investigating Dean Corlack? No, 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 hang on. Okay, I'm like distracted by the people. Hey man, help me out. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus attack. We're reeling from the implications. Udina in league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Blair, I think I already did all of these. I hope I did all of these. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. I'll leave you to it, mm. then. I'm here if you need me. Bailey, I need help if I'm supposed to be investigating. Oh, maybe I gotta go to the... the Spectre office thing. Spectre status recognized. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I walk so slowly. What's this? Message terminal. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Oh, okay. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Edina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. And I am going to kill that him. complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? I Especially mean, now. He funded my him. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. 
legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I think they stopped funding him when Miranda ran away to the elusive man, but now they're probably palsies again. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I mean... I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Bye! Also, like, I'm your friend. Let me help you. Do you have any cool, not guns, but uh? Nope. Oh my goodness! Civilian Commander Bailey has requested assistance with a comm man who's bringing refugees. The man has exploited loopholes to delay his arrest. Vector authorization would allow CSEC to immediately deport the comm man. <laughs> sure. Yep. <laughs> Medical supplies originally meant for... This is... I shouldn't be doing this. This is definitely government overreach, but... Medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been rerouted to Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. Supplies are currently locked down on the docks, but can be duly... Yeah, all, yeah. Partner benefits. Reservists called to active duty are not drawing full pay because of the scale of electric threat and the massive funding required to match salaries and partner benefits for so many on short notice. Using Spectre Authority to mandate salary matching for all personnel with partners are dependent on Citadel would require cuts to tax incentives... And post-war economics. Okay, yep. I mean, we need to survive now. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't know. Like, we need, to, we need to do things now to survive. We can worry about later, later. Authorized. I forgot I could do all this. Some of those, like, oh, the conversations I overhear in the hallways. I forget that I can authorize and I can do stuff from the Spectre Terminal. Uh, yes, the many CSEC offers would be of a militia would benefit the Citadel state of mind, but they lack funds and clearance. Yes, let's do that. We want training. We want people who are trained and not just gun happy running through the halls, you know? Financial report is top level embassy access only. According to the financial estimates from First Rune Investment Trust, a division of Elkos Combine, the Citadel races cannot sustain the cost of the warfare for more than one year. Although military spending has stimulated, stimulated certain market sectors, shortages in rationing in other areas of depressed financial system. Civilian discretionary spending has fallen except in entertainment areas. First Rune is borrowing heavily to provide funds for key, war, key functions across the Citadel. But if the war does not end within the next year, the galactic financial collapse is inevitable. Yep. They have requested a number of surveillance warrants in an attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Offers have tapped public surveillance feeds but do not have legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorizations. No, I'm okay, I'm not gonna do that. Um, Batarian patient named Gorik. Yes, he's suffering from undisclosed but severe injuries. We think we already did that. Kitin Korlak. He's unknown. Biometric analysis not detect him. He was Last known position was an office suite near the human embassy. How convenient. With Spectre level access codes, it's possible to bypass security standard protocols and track top level diplomatic dispatches. The location of consoles accessed using suspect ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool. Sure. I think I need that for this or for a different mission. Okay. Set a dial defense for it. And some of this will actually play out in such a way that it can actually backfire. There's a few things that will be coming up at some point that I think decisions that I've made uh, that will potentially backfire. I'm hoping there is one that I am actually hoping to change. If I remember to do it correctly. Hello, Volus, you're Volus. Racial profiling, oh my gosh, I'm species profiling. I mean, he is a freaking, he's a Volus. And they said he was near the human embassy. I cannot get through, anyway. I mean, I am unsure. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll in here? The office when you're ready. Yeah, do it. Oh, dang. Hopefully it's not too long. 
We keep finding traitors in here. I'm not actually sure if Din Korlak is a traitor. I can't remember. What am I doing? With us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. Um... Maybe he's dead. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. I, I think they killed him. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC. But Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. This was... What are you... Oh yeah, he did. Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. Zaid! Oh my gosh, I forgot. Quick. Little bastards even heavier than he looks. Zaid? Zaid, my guy, Zaid. <laughs> he might not have killed him. He might have just knocked him out. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna call this one here. See, I I recognize the name, cause Din Korlak is the guy you talked to in Mass Effect One. He's in the Elcor uh, office as well. Like the Elcor and the Volus office are in the same suite. Um, oh my back. Uh, but. Yeah, ow, my shoulder. Oh, fuck, part. <laughs> but I couldn't remember why, but I recognize, I remember his name now. Yeah, Din Korlak from Mass Effect 1 as the ambassador, the Volus ambassador. But now we have Zaid getting involved. Zaid. <laughs> Zaid's like Shepard if he only cared, of, if she only cared about getting a paycheck. So, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm going to go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to actually start like a an actual like quest thing, an actual mission. So, Whoopsie daisy. But thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. And I super appreciate your support, my friend. Thank you again. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me. And I very much appreciate it. Very, very much. I can't I can't even say it properly, but thank you so much for your support, and thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.